Hello everyone, Ray Waldo here, the Bishop of Technology, and uh, be sure and check out our website at raywaldo.com. If you have any questions, comments, or other information that you'd like to share with uh, related to this cast, uh, be sure and uh, leave them on my website, raywaldo.com. I do not answer questions on Facebook. Okay, so today we're checking out the Chromecast from Google. Just came out. I just got it in just a few minutes ago. And I uh, haven't checked it out yet or done much with it except just opened it up and looked at it this way. Uh, this is about all there is. <laughs> it's not a whole lot to it. Uh, supposedly it's very easy to connect. And uh, you can connect it either with the USB power or with the uh, adapter power. I'm going to hook it up with the adapter because that's, uh, you know, it's a real clean little setup that I've got up here with my uh, uh, TV. We're going to check it out that way. So we open it up and somewhere in here we should have a power adapter for USB. And that looks like that's something different. Uh, this must be a USB adapter. Okay. So we'll use that. Uh, I assume this is just an extension if you couldn't get directly to the uh, the HDMI port for your TV or if in my case uh, I may be using it not this time but uh, uh, sometime soon when uh, as you see now this is uh, our bedroom TV and just a simple little thing and it only has one HDMI out plus a UHB uh, and in this case the device is going to stick out a little bit so later on I'll probably use that device to just hang this down or move it over here somewhere out of the way but for right now this is all we're going to do we're going to hook up the we just want to see it operate. So we're going to take the uh, plastic off of the device. Okay, here we go. So we can get to the USB adapter and connect up the mini or micro USB. This is a micro USB. Connect that and then put this in the USB adapter up here and put the connector in there and so that's really all it is now it'd be a little bit more complicated if you only if you had more than one HDMI output or input but I only have one so that's all it's going to get so I'll get over here and if I can find the power board button uh, that should be it or not okay we'll use the cable There it goes. Okay, it's coming up. Okay. And uh, let me back away just a little here so you can see what's going on. And uh, it's showing no signal. Okay, so uh, let's check the input and see where we are. Okay, that's HDMI, that's where it should be. Okay, well in that case, let's see if we can get some AC to it. And because my TV may not supply AC on the, I mean uh, power on the USB adapter, that may be the problem. I've never used it, so I don't know. Okay, so. Put the AC adapter, take it off of here and plug it into the, the included AC adapter for the device. And that was the problem. There it comes. It's starting to come up, I believe. Yep, there's Chrome. And it says set me up. Uh, on your laptop. So from here you go to your laptop and go to google.chrome.chromecast.setup and everything should work from there. Okay, well there you go. That's, that's all it takes. Alright, till next time, this is Ray Waldo.
at raywaldo.com. Remember, I'll have other information but on this device and others, but all the in connections should be, all the questions and everything should be asked online at my website, raywaldo.com. All right, till next time, bye.